All the marketing is expected to pass. It's it's impossible to take Lavalo Company from zero to what Lavalo Marketing. That's the champ. There's no bad thing for me, but there's a bad thing if you guys just so happen not to make as much as money as I do. It's impossible. It's a win-win situation for you. No, it's not a win-win situation. For me. <laughs> no, obviously, like if I, I just so happen to surpass you guys' oh, yeah. sales as a single guy doing all these things, and I still surpass sales, then you guys are screwed. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for the company. Bro. Okay, guys, I have this challenge where I'm challenging the sales team that if I went out there and went ahead and started from scratch, I would be able to keep up with the sales that they're doing on a monthly basis. He thinks impossible. it's impossible. <laughs> he thinks it's impossible. Impossible, bro. bro. I think well, I can do it. Is dead. We have four hundred dollars in sixteen <laughs> yeah. days. I think I could do it. So, uh, you know, impossible. we might have to. We might have to do this challenge, bro. I really, if you I do really this will. challenge, I'll give you half of my salary. <laughs> So that boy has been in office for 30 minutes now. Feels like I've been here for 30 years. Like it's been a hectic 30 minutes for me. Uh, setting things up for today, you know, like for the foreseeable future. Uh, for the next four or five hours that I'm in the office, I have a lot of internees, you know, like lined up. And a lot of interviews lined up. Uh, I'm gonna hit up a lot of people as well. Uh, so it's gonna be tough for me as a manager because I, I have to manage people and work my shift with it. So I have to you know, like look at DM requests, payments coming in as well. And as well as that, I have to manage people and interview as well. Yeah, so let's get it. So yeah, bro, uh, what I want you to do today is just go over the messages. You know, read the messages, bro. Just see, you know, like each and everything that we say, that the guy says, you know, like the, just the questioning and answering, you know, like things are similar, but they, they are different in every chat. And you want you want to like adjust to these things, man. So just go over everything, learn these slangs, these artists, you know, like they really like their slang. So the more, you know, like you relate to them, the better it is going to be. Go over everything. Uh, so for today, that's it. You know, like just go over the scripts, go over the whole, whole conversation that we have with these clients that we have secured you know like these are some of the names of the clients that we have secured just go over the chats and see you know like how we secure them so I'll give you my phone just go over them bro other than that go over the scripts and for tomorrow I'm gonna teach you about you know like how how do we do call the ends and stuff like that you know like how you want to approach these people and stuff like that so that was uh, I've been teaching the interns you've been seeing me do this for like two three vlogs now he's another guy I think he has real real potential uh, and hopefully he becomes part of the team. So yeah man, the work continues today as well in the office, new internees, prospects coming through as well. Have some more interviews lined up for, with other guys as well. So I'm gonna look through these guys, you know, like see which guys is worth like employing because we're trying to expand the company. And for me personally, I'm the sales manager at the company, like you guys may not recognize me without the beard, but yeah. So I'm the sales manager in the company and my goal for the end of this year is to get like at least 20 to 25 people in the company. Just so you know, like I'm the manager of them, I come in the office, just lay back and you know, like chill with other managers, talk with them and see like how the sales are going and then go home. So I don't want to, you know, like have this whole pressure on me to work as well, to manage people as well, you know, like it gets tough, but that's, you know, like the goal to the end of the year for me as a personal manager. It's going to be a dream. Okay. Because you know what the role of managers is. So more interns, you know, you have to train more, you have to manage more people. So I am, you know, I'm a manager of operations team and my duty along with whatever I do is to, you know, manage more people. So if I hire or I have more people in my team, you know, I'm going to have to manage more and more and more. So uh, it's going to be a dream, brother. The more people you add in your team, you're going to have more responsibilities. And with more responsibilities, you won't be able to, you know, just sit back like this and enjoy your time. You aren't, you're gonna you, you have, you aren't realizing, realizing the dream, bro. You aren't realizing the dream. Like, put your workload on other people and just, you know, like, get the cream of the crop people to do your work. 
and then enjoy all the sales and all the stuff coming through you know like you just have to manage what your people are doing like you don't have to manage these clients and stuff like that directly that's you know like that's the dream for me but that's considering everyone will work equally but yeah that, that, that's my yeah, that, 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 that 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 is part of it brother if someone doesn't come on time and stuff like that you know like we're gonna be asked for this so uh, another thing is that you know we were you know we have a limit now on our funds so we were you know like spending different campaigns as we were having more and more clients with us but you know our boss he put a limit on the funds we were getting so we are restricted somehow so how we're gonna cope with that we're gonna you know re-optimize our campaigns and lower our budget we're gonna find more and more you know a different methods of how we can you know take uh, the music of our clients to the target audience we're gonna find better ways which can help us you know improve the efficiency of the campaigns as well one method is email marketing right so we have leads and we have to you know just use the leads and the email marketing is free we don't have to run facebook ads or you know instagram ads just to spend more budget we can use more budget friendly means in order to really promote our music so yeah we are working on that and we are you know hoping that we can adjust in the new budget that has been aligned to our department yeah moreover there's another thing you know dip in sales but huh? so that directly correlates to us you guys might know this if you're watching the vlogs regularly there has been kind of a dip in the sales for quite some time now, like a week. We have not been hitting you know, like those landmarks that we were. So the budget thing that directly correlates to us is more people aren't going to recur. That's yeah, what I've been. They're responsible. Yeah, that's what I've been constantly telling Ish, like, bro, if you don't, you know, like put everything into their campaigns. Even though you know, like we aren't making much money on top of these things, some some clients we've been paying from out of our pockets. But if you don't put this hard work in, if you don't put this budget in, these clients aren't going to recur and these aren't going to be listed in our sales, bro. So other than that, man, you know, like we are trying our hardest. I've been recruiting people on people, you know, like I'm trying to grow the team as well and try to make these sales alongside these guys. So that's at the end of the day, you know, like these sales, these are the backbone of the company. If we don't make sales, the company isn't here. So we are trying our hardest. Cash App hates us. I think PayPal hates us right now as well. Yeah, and does, yeah, does. debit cards have been rejecting for people, you know, like these things have been hurting the team, man. So yeah, we have reached out to PayPal representatives. We have reached out to Visa debit card representatives. We are talking with them, you know, like hopefully the whole payment situation is sorted out. It's just, you know, like these big payments, more payments coming in, more payments coming out, you know, like the payments come in from us. We put it into Facebook ads. We pass it over to like Fazan. He puts it on, into other, you know, like avenues. And these things are really hurting the company, you know, yeah, like exactly. taxes as well, man, bro. Who likes taxes? Give this video a like if you hate taxes, bro. Taxes suck. So yeah, man, that's, you know, like the end of the day, you know, like I'm trying to recruit more people and hopefully this company stays afloat. Why is him 500 posting about all this amazing stuff, right? That he's going to change your life. He's going to recession proof your life. But when it actually comes down to fundamentals, I'm going to break down if he's a legitimate entrepreneur or not. And normally, when you see all these entrepreneurs flexing on Instagram, and if they have a McLaren that's blue, nine out of 10 times, they're trying to sell you a course and make money off it. They're not actually selling you information that's valid or valuable. So there's a group of entrepreneurs out there that are flexing these, you know, amazing results and amazing lifestyle. It's like a whole group of people. If we go to his Instagram account, you could obviously see that like he has a group of specific entrepreneurs that he associates himself with. And they're all like this, like really funny group of people that are all african-american that all go out there and you know try to embrace and you know improve culture and just educate people in general and i kind of find this funny because like they're all on this like little zoom call right here on their instagram yeah so this guy right here like you know him 500 he goes out of his way to you know really give out you know valuable advice but when it comes down to selling a course that's where things get very very tricky and you know I don't understand if you're selling a course to actually educate people or if you're selling a course to go out there and make money. Just looking from his Instagram, you know, in his bio, you, it says you can't Google what I teach. OK, that's nice. I like how he has his family in there. I like how he has financial literacy in there. But in terms of impact, like what has he specifically done besides sell a course that, that I've seen is nothing. You know, I just see him advertising his courses. But when it comes to him having a business, I don't see that. And that's a red flag that I see personally that I don't like and I don't want, especially when I'm trying to see an entrepreneur out there. You know, I would much rather look at a Gary V because he has a business that he is, you know, has on the back end before he goes out there and publishes a book or promotes a specific, you know, a training or event. So let's click the Instagram bio. Let's see what it has.
So it has joint recession proof extreme, the circle of CEO conference, free recession proof consultation, recession proof financial literacy digital course, become an affiliate and his merch website. So his first link, I want to click it, the recession proof, that's his biggest like factor when it comes to his entrepreneurship journey. So this guy, you know, just off the bat, man, look at the way this guy's standing, you know what I'm saying? If you trust a guy doing this, you know, like you have a problem. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, but I do like his like, you know, layout for his website. It doesn't look scammy, but this guy keeps hitting these thumbs, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? He's going this. This is when you know a guy's going to take your money. You got to be careful when it comes down to these guys. But anyways, this is his little friend, apparently. I don't know what his name is, but he's like Wall Street Trapper or something like that. And, you know, here we go. Private Jet, Rolls Royce. You know, you have to get the picture in there. So let's click the link. I want to become recession proof. I want to see what it looks like. I want to know what it feels like. Let's see what happens. So is it going to take us to a video? Let's find out. Okay, guys, here we get to the landing page where we can see what everything he offers in this course. So if we go down this list, financial literacy, like I'm supposed to know what financial literacy is. Like, what does that even mean? Like, what does that pertain to? Like, people don't need to understand that if you're paying this guy to get financial literacy, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that would be basically explaining the same things. Trade line business, personal business and funding, strategies and luxury car hacks, recession proof amplifier calls, credit repair and ebook, plug-in system. Okay, the one thing that I have a problem with is that you're not getting access to actual information that's valuable. Let me explain the luxury car hacks. Luxury car hacks is so intricate and it takes a very good deal to make money on. So him offering that in his recession proof car hack, you know, little course thing, it just doesn't make sense to me because if you're giving out this information to an audience that doesn't want it, you know, like you're not going to be able to use a luxury car hack. I'm going to be very honest with you. You know, the barrier to entry for luxury car hack, you need to have an 800 credit score. You need to have amazing credit. You need to have all these specific things. You need to have a very large down payment. You need to have all these things. And maybe, just maybe you can make money off car hacking. You know, if you're actually going out there to try to find a place to go out there and car hack, I would personally recommend going with exotic car hacks. These guys know what they're doing. They're in the car hacking niche. They know what they're talking about. So I would definitely, you know, go with him instead of going with him 500. But in terms of everything, it looks pretty solid. You know, you're getting a social media marketing class, but you know, as a social media marketer, I laugh at these kind of people because they think that they know what they're giving. Like, you know, oh, we're going to learn about social media marketing. But when it actually comes down to social media marketing and locking in clients, that's a full on system. I guarantee you in these course videos or whatever, he's teaching you super basic 10 minute things, how to build a website, how to run Facebook ads. Like we're literally going through like, you know, just the setup on Facebook or just the setup on a website. Like he's not really getting intricate when it comes down to his marketing. The same thing with his luxury car hacking. You know, you can only teach so much in a bundled course. So like, in my opinion, I wouldn't trust this at all because just social marketing in general, that's a whole long process that takes a lot of time and energy. And the fact that he's offering this in like a full on bundle, I would never learn social media marketing from this guy, even though his marketing tactics are good. This guy does not, not look like he actually owns a marketing agency, but let's put our information in and see what happens. So I want to become recession proof. So I want to see what this guy has to offer. So, holy fr this guy is charging $3,000 for this man's course. I don't even know where to start. You know, there's so many things wrong with this. First of all, I guess it's a one-time payment, so that's good. You know, he's just taking your money one time. He's not going to take your money again. Maybe he will take it again later on in the course or in the, you know, the mentorships or the upsells. But apparently, according to me, 3000 is what you pay for what you get. Okay, so, you know, you're going to get a morning accountability call from Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. That's probably going to be pre-recorded after months ago. And then you're going to finally get it at what specific time. So all these things just don't add up to me. One thing that I do know he's good at is credit. So, you know, definitely take his advice when it comes to that kind of stuff. I do know he's really in the credit niche. So that's something that you can learn on YouTube, maybe for free. It's not hard. You can find credit removal templates on YouTube and on Google. Literally the easiest stuff you could possibly ever think. So if you were to ask me if him 500 is legit or not, I would say out of the scale of five stars, he's probably a three or a four. Batman Campbell is a two. He's trying to get you in his click funnel. 
but you know this guy you know went out his way to build an office space as you can see right here guys this guy's legit like he knows what he's talking about he has an office space for him like check it out check it out like he has recession proof on the walls so you know when someone puts their logos on the walls they're legit when it comes down to it so he's legit but when it comes to the material that he's offering and he's selling i would be skeptical as soon as i saw the price and as soon as i saw what he's actually teaching so take it how you want it to i personally would never buy that course i would go out there and find someone in that specific niche like example car hacking you will want to find the best car hacker Social media marketing, you want to go to me. You want to find the best social media marketers. You know, my marketing agency is seven figures. I don't do anything besides social media marketing and YouTube. You know, people that are trying to, oh, yeah, I know trading. I know credit. I know this. I know that. I know that. Just buy my course. Buy my course. $3,000. No, you don't want to trust those people because the information they're giving you is very basic and broad. Hopefully that helps, guys. All right, guys. So I just got finished with the office work. Um, I came late to the office. I had to take care of a lot of things right now. You know, as a... Business owner, you know, you're taking care of a lot of different things. I have other investments I'm dedicated to. I just got off the phone with the sales team, you know. They were actually just explaining the interns and everything like that that came in today. You know, we had a really good experience with a, a new intern that just came in. He is part of the sales team. I to work with him. He's coming in tomorrow for his official first day. And that's going to be a really good, uh, exciting moment for him. You know, he understands systems and stuff like that. So that's great for me. He's qualified. So yeah, guys, so right now it's like 3 a.m. I'm grinding. You know, the grind doesn't stop. You know, as an entrepreneur, like I said, you need to be committed, you need to be dedicated. And like I said in this neon sign, you have to believe it before you can see it. You know, I'm believing in my YouTube channel. That's why, you know, endless amounts of time to it. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, let's get it. Thanks.